Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me for a brief overview of Sitka Gold. Uh, I'll be making some forward-looking statements here, just a, a cautionary note. So Sitka, listed in uh, 2018, established by a team of industry professionals with over 150 years combined experience. Uh, we formed a, a company called Thunder Copper Corporation uh, in the past and sold that in 18 months for a significant return to shareholders. So we do have a good track record here for increasing shareholder value. Right now we're targeting gold, silver, zinc, and copper properties that meet a proven set of criteria and have the potential to unlock substantial value with systematic exploration. Some of these criteria is that they gotta be in uh, friendly mining jurisdictions. They have to have good uh, logistics like uh, road access and have to have the ability to uh, host uh, multi-million ounce uh, deposits. Uh, right now we have five diverse projects, uh, you know, to, to kind of, uh, reiterate what Gwen said, uh, diversity is good when you're a junior, you don't have, want just one kick in the can. So uh, here we've got our Borough Creek Gold Silver deposit in Arizona, the RC Gold project in the Yukon, also the OGI Silver Zinc Gold property in the Yukon, the Alpha Gold property in Nevada, and our Copper Mine River project in Nunavut. So our board, uh, very highly skilled and respective corporate team, with over 150 years of combined industry experience, as I mentioned, and uh, past discoveries, mine production and value creation for shareholders. Uh, this is on the website, so you can read these bios in more detail. A company snapshot here, uh, the last year, uh, right now we have a market cap of around 10 or 11 million, shares issued and outstanding around 56 million, uh, fully diluted 84 million, and uh, owned by management around 15% of this. Uh, working capital about 1.4 million, uh, no debt. And our drivers are that we have these highly prospective projects that we acquired during the market downturn. We'd never get those uh, properties for the negotiated deals that we, we got in the past. Uh, we have project diversity, aggressive exploration schedules, exciting drill results, and new discoveries. So the external drivers are the resurgence in the precious metals sector, uh, the beginning of a new bull cycle and growing demand for investment opportunities. Why invest in Sitka Gold? Well, you can see here on this chart, uh, very attractive entry point uh, compared to our peers for a market cap. Um, we're extremely undervalued in our opinion, and uh, we do have a strong management team with proven ability, uh, and we're exposed to a diverse portfolio of attractive projects. I'll start with our flagship property, in Arizona, the Burrow Creek Gold Silver Deposit. Uh, it has a historical resource of 5 million ounces of silver and 120,000 ounces of gold. This property was um, permitted to go in production in the 1980s. The price of gold uh, tanked and it was shelved. And Sitka uh, is fortunate enough to have acquired this property with this uh, deposit still intact, but also significant uh, upside uh, from the latest work that was done on it. Logistically, it's right off the Interstate Highway 93. Um, how, about half the claims are private, and that's where the deposit is. The other half is on federal BLM ground. This is a section of one of the, um, a part of the vein. It shows it's up to 40 meters wide. Uh, very uh, impressive values, but it also has a high-grade core to it that uh, this one drill hole here shows a meter of uh, right around an ounce of gold and 24 ounces of silver. The last work done on the property before Sitka acquired it was a geochem soil survey uh, along the projection of the vein to the southeast. And this, uh, this soil survey uh, highlighted a gold silver anomaly that uh, was thought to be the bleed through of the vein that's covered by a volcanic uh, uh, veneer rock. And um, we stepped out and drilled the first 10 holes along that corridor there and they and did indeed confirm that this is the extension of the bro vein uh, similar grades and uh, um, we drilled to the end of the private property and we're waiting for our permits to drill in, in another kilometer here some of our values that we got back from the drilling that we completed in april this year uh, 41 meters of 1.15 grams per ton gold and 51.3 grams per ton silver but again, uh, high grade uh, core to this of uh, over a meter, 7.55 grams per ton gold and 33 grams per ton silver. So all these holes um, give you an idea that uh, 
um, the vein is, is persistent and the mineralization can, appears to be persistent going to the south under this cover. On to the Yukon, the RC Gold Project. Uh, we just finished our first maiden drill program up there in September. Uh, this is a large uh, 345 square kilometer district scale uh, land position uh, centered midway between um, Victoria Gold's uh, Eagle Mine and Golden Predators Ruby Creek Mine in the Tombstone Gold Belt. Uh, you can see Sitka is situated in the middle here. This is a very fertile prospective area that just recently got opened up with a brand new road cutting right through our property. So the logistics uh, uh, for exploration got very much more appealing. Our first drill holes there, um, we're calling these the discovery holes in the agar zone. Uh, these two drill holes uh, tested um, a gold anomaly on the surface that we had picked up some, some very impressive uh, outcrop rocks of up to 27.8 grams per ton. Uh, but these six holes that made up our program, some of them are 10 kilometers apart, testing different uh, intrusion-related gold deposit targets. Uh, we're anxiously waiting for what we get in the saddle zone here. If we can connect these dots, we've got a big mineralized zone here. These two holes that came back uh, so far are uh, gave us 139 meters of 0.61 grams per ton gold, including 37 meters of 1.05 grams per ton gold. The other hole is 57.5 meters of 0.5 grams per ton gold, including 11.6 meters of 1.2 grams per ton gold and a heart grade just under a meter of 9.57 grams per ton gold. So very impressive uh, results. Uh, you can see the drill hole here to the north, uh, went right over, right underneath uh, where we got these good gold values on the surface of up to 27.8 grams per ton in rocks. Uh, drill hole number four going to the south uh, was more of a blind hole, but uh, ended up being very impressive as well. This outline here is 500 PPB gold. Uh, and the lighter color is, is 100 PPB gold anomalies, geochem anomalies. So we're in a very fertile area here that looks like it's very uh, large. This is a cross section that shows these two holes to the, to the north uh, underneath the high grade surface samples. We had gold all the way down and some higher grade, uh, like your 10 grams per ton, um, uh, three quarters of the way down the hole. But as you can see, the surface drops off. So even though you might be down 150 meters, you're only 80 meters from the surface. And that's the same going to the, to the east, this hole here, which was more of a blind hole. We ended up in the bottom of that hole hitting some really good values. And, and this is very interesting because we just got out of the intrusion into the meta sediments. And uh, this just opens up a huge target for us. Um, just an example here, uh, Victoria Gold's uh, mine grade is about 0.65 grams per ton. Gold and Kinross's Fort Knox mine is 0.37 grams per ton gold. So we're right in the ballpark with these values and we believe that we could have an economic deposit being shaped up here. On to Alpha Gold in the Nevada. This is a, a very um, intriguing uh, target. It's uh, right in the Carlin uh, Gold District and um, we're right at the intersection of the projection of the Cortez trend with what we what is identified as the Garden Valley Anticline, which uh, hosts the lower plate uh, carbonate sediments uh, that carry a lot of this, these contact deposits. And this intersection is a very prospective area for a target like this. Uh, here you can see the Cortez trend again, projecting right into the, uh, our target on the uh, Garden Valley Anticline um, carbonate sediments. Uh, these, this Cortez trend, these three, mines total 50 million ounces of gold. So these are big uh, deposits when you discover one. This is a section through our property here, Alpha Gold property. You can see the lower plate uh, carbonates. Uh, the target area is in red here where I'm pointing with my mouse. Um, that uh, we've drilled one hole uh, targeting that. You can see this hole here, it went down 548 meters. Um, didn't quite get into the, the heart of the lower plate uh, um, limestone, but uh, confirm that the, the, the lower plate sediments are preserved and uh, the anomalous gold we got in this hole had coincided high mercury, which is an indicator uh, mineral for uh, um, carlin type deposits. 
onto the OGI property in the Yukon. We just completed drilling this a few weeks ago. The samples are in the lab. Um, this is a very interesting property. It's just right north of Bury Creek, um, uh, Bury, uh, Golden Prairie's Bury Creek mine. And uh, the target there is a, a silver zinc gold, uh, soil anomaly that runs about 750 meters by 250 meters. Um, had a lot of surface work, but nobody's ever put a drill in it to find out where these, this mineralization is coming from. Uh, we've drilled four holes, um, taking into account the geophysics that was done and, and the geochem on the surface. Uh, and these holes are now in the lab. Uh, it's a static style, stratibound zinc, lead, silver deposit target. Um, we're very excited about seeing what comes back in these results. And our last property, the Copper Mine River property in Nunavut in the Arctic. Um, this is a district scale, uh, 52,000 hectare property uh, close to tidewater that uh, we recently discovered a sediment hosted uh, copper showing that ran over three and a half percent copper and 65 grams per ton silver. We did some uh, geogravity uh, geophysics over top of this and there's an anomaly right underneath this of about 100 meters wide. Uh, we went back and, and did some more gravity lines to the north and south and shows that this thing is contiguous. Um, it's still still open in both directions. Uh, it's not our primary focus, but we're very uh, encouraged with what we see there. And we own this 100% through Sitka Gold's subsidiary Arctic Copper Corporation. There's no underlying royalties or payments or, or anything on this property. We also have high grade there in the volcanic hosted um, veins that uh, run up to 41.5% copper. You can just sock this and send it right to the smelter. So anyhow, to wrap up, uh, we have a robust intrusion related gold system identified at the RC Gold Project this year. It's open in all directions and results confirm the potential for uh, the discovery of a multi-million ounce economic gold deposit. The remaining drilling uh, drill holes are in the lab and uh, are pending. A much larger phase two program is anticipated in 2021 to follow up on this exceptional find. And drilling at Alpha Gold intercepted anomalous gold and interpreted to be leakage from a large underlying Carlin type gold system. Additional planning, drilling is planned to follow up on these results as well. And a first phase drill program at the OGI property in the Yukon was just completed and uh, those results are pending as well. Drilling at Burrow Creek, Confirm the continuation of the gold mineralization to the south and permitting is currently underway to continue stepping out drilling along this newly identified extension of the vein system. So catalyst moving forward, uh, we're expecting additional results from the RC Gold Project from the OGI property. And uh, we're anticipating drilling at Alpha Gold and Burrow Creek here um, as soon as we can. Uh, resource estimate at Burrow Creek, uh, we're planning to do that in 2021 after we finish our phase two drilling. And we have an upcoming marketing campaign that will include several conferences, influencer interviews and televised coverage on BNN Bloomberg. Um, we also have an OTC listing application underway. Thanks very much for uh, listening to the brief summary of Sitka Gold. Bye for now. <laughs>